Welcome back guys to Phoenix Wright Spirit of Justice where last episode the testimony from Anonymous to be determined turned out to be a complete and utter lie as it was determined who his identity was. That's a bull. Or more to the point, if I decode his name properly because I finally decided to go, so what's his pun? That's a rebel? Oh yes, that's his name. The rebel that ran away after he was revealed to be a rebel, scarpering past the armed guards. With that, of course, our prosecutor tried to still say that Maya is to blame. But we said in that science vision, in the divination, there was a third party. And until that is determined who that is, you cannot rule whatsoever. I'm talking about the true identity of the Lady Kira we saw in the science vision. We are indeed as we continue on. If that wasn't that's a rebel, then who was it? Objection. That matter has already been resolved. It has? What's he talking about? It says as I have maintained from the start. There was no third party in the Saints Vision. Objection! No, 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 there! But there was another Lady Kira there besides my Fey. We all saw her. What the? I I can't do my finger point. Uh, what? Why can't you? It's not like it's just on the front of your arm. It's just move, 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 guy. <laughs> okay, maybe it goes past my joint. It is time to let it go and move on. Your fate has already been sealed, much like your arm. Th this hardly seems fair. It's quite simple once you consider where the victim and the accused were at the time. If the victim was near the spring with his back to the accused, what would he see ahead? Besides the water itself, there is nothing but the Warbat statue. Precisely. The Lady Killer we saw in the seance is the Warbat statue draped in her sacred robes. I thought you were going to pull that at some point. No, no way! The accused wanted the false Lady Killer to appear in the seance vision. Before she came from behind and stabbed the victim with a dagger in a reverse grip. But, but why would the accused want to do something like create a false Lady Kira? To show it to the victim as he was being slain. And what reason would the accused have to fool the victim she was about to kill? It was not the victim she was trying to fool. It was this very court itself. Uh, come again? Suspicion would not fall on the accused if it looked as if another Lady Kira was there. And the defense was foolish enough to fall for it and claim it was a third party in disguise. Ah, are you saying? I am. It was all a cleverly wicked scheme, perpetrated by the accused. A scheme in which she sought to use the seance vision to mislead us. This can't be happening. What a face you're making, Defense. I'm surprised you were taking this so hard. After all, did I not clearly state a while back that you were chasing after naught but a deluded fantasy? <laughs> Something has occurred to me, you see. And your allegations of a third party are but a deluded fantasy. Telling me he knew this is how it would turn out all the way back then? And that was all, was all he was just waiting for the most effective moment of springing on me? <laughs> Do you understand now? I have had you dancing in the palm of my hand this entire time. It... it can't be. This is an outrage. You took our royal priestess's sacred divination seance and used it to commit this most foul and despicable murder? No, I did nothing of the sort. Maya, Nick, it's not true. I, I didn't. Cease this ugly display. Your fate is sealed now that the facts have been exposed. Your Majesty, 
The time has come to convict this criminal who only seeks to taint this sacred hall. Indeed. It seems this trial is over. Does the defense wish to offer up yet another counter-argument or something? Um, the accused is, uh, is not the killer. And, uh, here's why. Now what do I do? I've got nothing! It will appear that the defense has run out of arguments to make. I thought for sure that that rebel was the killer. The only person with a possible motive, the one dressed as Lady Kira, has vanished. And I've got nothing to use against Prosecutor Sabmari's argument. Damn it, I can't lose now, not like this. Very well then, I shall now render my verdict. W wait! Please wait, I'm begging you. It is time to let it go. And move on. This trial need not be drawn out any longer. A defense has failed to counter the charge filed by the prosecution. In accordance with the law, I invoke the Defense Culpability Act against the defense. And now then, this court finds the accused, Maya Fay, and the defense, Phoenix Wright. No, 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 no. No! Ah! What? What? But I didn't do anything wrong. Your Majesty, please forgive the interruption, but... Haha! -ha! Look, it's one of those armed guards that failed. Cost me my life. What is the meaning of this? A body has been found. In the plaza of devotion, Your Majesty. What's this? A body? What happened now? We found this sticking out of the victim. Wha why that? Lady Kira's war bad dagger. Lady Kira! She has returned for the Twilight Realm once more! She has come to defeat the rebels. Peace! Well, it would seem the dagger that was once lost has now been found. I have one more thing to report, Prosecutor Sabmadi. Yes. This dagger. It bears the fingerprints of Maya Faye on it. What? It can. She's here. But but why would Maya's prints be on it? I cannot believe it, yet it must be true. Is something the matter, Prosecutor said, Maddie? This trial has run its course, and the accused's guilt has been firmly established. However, it would seem the defense was right about one thing. I... I was? You claim that the murder at the Inner Sanctum had been carried out by the rebel hunter masquerading as Lady Kira. I did say something to that effect, but what of it? Prosecutor said, Maddie, uh, are you suggesting what I think you are? I believe the true identity of the rebel hunter who has been masquerading as Lady Kira is none other than the accused, Miss Maya Fay. What? Me? What? But, 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 but the body's new, isn't it? I've been, what, she, we've been here hours? I realize how shocking this must seem. Looking back, however, I now realize there was much that pointed to this fact. The rebel hunting Lady Killer was first sighted about two years ago, and the accused first came to our kingdom two years ago as well. Well, why? The timing matches perfectly. But there is more. That warning letter was found in the high priest's bedroom three days before the rite. Despite his house being locked up tight that night. Objection! How does that prove anything? Objection! It's difficult to believe an intruder could have found a way to enter such a secure house. However, the accused was known to come and go freely there. Mainly to prepare for the purification rite. Ah! Abbot Imi was an important figure with a ton of duties, including training acolytes. He was really kind even to a foreigner like me. He even invited me over to his house whenever I was between training sessions. <laughs> the 
The accused could have easily left the house unlocked for herself without anyone noticing. No! Lady Kira's warning has now been updated. Only someone capable of entering the priest's home could have delivered it. If we assume that the accused was Lady Kira, that more than establishes a motive for killing the high priest. Yes, the victim was equally and uncertain, and on helping that's horrible escape after all. Precisely, that made him a target of Lady Kira's wrath. And after killing the high priest, she then unleashed her divine justice on another rebel. So it seems the scope of this case has expanded. We now have two murders perpetrated by Miss Maya Fey, masquerading as Lady Kira. If Miss Fay is indeed a serial killer, it will affect the severity of her punishment. In light of this, I believe this second murder must be investigated before we can proceed. As you wish, Your Majesty. My Fay, I hereby charge you with this second murder. May your defiled soul feel the weight of your sins. A new murder charge on top of a guilty verdict? It seems the defense will live to see one more day. Talk about hanging on by a thread. <laughs> Come tomorrow, a far more terrible punishment awaits you. I hereby suspend these proceedings so that the second murder may be investigated. Until the conclusion of this new investigation, this court is adjourned. What? Can't call me guilty. I didn't do nothing wrong. How did I... Murder and place the body. You're saying obviously murdered it before I even came here or during the time the murder thing gone. You've had Maya in jail for like a day. How has she gone about and done this stuff? Well, the only way to find out is to investigate it. Who'd have thought that I'd be going into the second day with already a guilty verdict hanging over me? What do I do now? I can't believe Maya and I were actually found guilty. <laughs> But I'm just allowed to walk around. This trial need not be drawn out any longer. The defense has failed to counter the charge filed by the prosecution. In accordance with the law, I invoke the Defense Culpability Act against the defense. And now then, this court finds the accused, Maya Fay, and the defense, Phoenix Wright. I will see it again! Ah! Yeah, that's how I feel about it. Mr. Wright! Albie! I saw the whole trial! What's going to happen to Miss Maya now? I'm worried about that too. But right now. I have one more thing to report, Prosecutor Sir Mally. Yes. This dagger. It bears the fingerprints of Maya Fay on it. Right now, I need to focus on the next trial. The murder of Acolyte Zealot, right? At least the jury is still out on that one, so to speak. The two murders are most likely connected. If I can get to the bottom of Acolyte Zealot's murder, it might give me the ammunition I need to overturn Maya's guilty verdict. Let me help you investigate. I want to assist you in any way I can. I appreciate it, Albie, but we're talking about a murder. Yeah, but it's going to be hard for a foreigner to investigate this on his own. You have a point there. Hmm. I wish I knew what to do. Hi, Rafer. Aren't you happy? You got what you wanted. Huh? Isn't that your benevolence? Um, Princess Rafa. Hmm. Oh, it is you again. The dead lawyer walking, guilty of abetting a murderer under the Defense Culpability Act. Ah, 
I see she hasn't lost any of her charm. Why the long face? I thought you'd be glad I was found guilty under the DC Act. Hm. I'm in no mood to take joy in your suffering. For I was unable to defeat you and had to leave the job to others. I failed in my sacred duty as the royal priestess. I guess that answers my question. Have I misunderstood the voice of the Mitama yet again? This, this cannot be! All I did was defend my client. Ah, I can't bear to see her looking so sad like this though. Your benevolence. Your benevolence. Hmm? Oh, barbed head. I thought you had already begun your journey to the Twilight Realm. I'm not dead yet. I still have an investigation to do. For tomorrow's trial. What's this? D do you mean to say you have not given up yet? That's right. I'm going to prove my innocent tomorrow. But why? Why do you refuse to give up? I cannot fathom such obstinacy. Investigate all you want. I care not. You really don't mind. But aren't you worried that a lawyer backed into a corner by the DC Act might do something desperate like forge evidence? <laughs> What's this? If left unsupervised, I'd be free to do whatever I wanted, you know. <laughs> okay, now to see if she takes the bait. Yes, I see your point. Barbed head. Yes? I know what happened yesterday. You perpetrated some sort of fraud or ever a misdeed while I was not watching. Huh? That explains why I misunderstood the voice of the High Priest's soul. Yes, of course. That is the only explanation. I was just trying to cheer her up. Now she thinks even less of me. I must not allow you to sully our sacred hall of justice with your misdeeds ever again. Therefore, today, I will be monitoring your every move month's war. I will not fail to spot your misdeeds this time. The moment I see anything out of the ordinary, I will send you straight to prison. And you, boy, do not throw your lot in with this foreign devil. B but your benevolence! It's okay, Albie. You don't need to worry about me. I'll be back before you know it. But first, I should probably lighten my load a bit. Albie, would you mind holding on to some evidence for me? Of course not. I'm always glad to help. Unnecessary evidence has been unloaded onto Albie. May the Holy Mother's blessings be upon you. Now then. The scene of the crime is the logical place to start. If I recall correctly, the body was found at the Plaza of Devotion. So that means that not only was he murdered before Mai was taken into captivity, he was basically murdered while Praise a lot was praying that whole time. Of course he wasn't praying, he was dead! But that's what it's going to sound like by the end of it. Why was he stabbed? And why was there no blood or anything like that? What evidence do I still have left? What have I got on my court record? Two pages? So I got the May 9th newspaper still. I got Teres autopsy report. In a sanctum photo. My statement, which wasn't used yet. Lady Kira's warning, which was updated. The plumed Punisher strap and the Inner Sanctum diagram. So we got rid of pretty much everything about a certain prisoner and his identity. Do you want to talk me any more? I'm dead after all. That boy has grown far too close to you. He will require re-education if he persists in befriending lawyers. Re-education? What exactly does that entail? First, he must meditate upon Lady Kira for 48 hours in the prayer pose. How is that re-education? Sounds more like torture to me. Yeah. What to do then, Rafa? Bob Ted, you have an investigation to conduct, do you not? Get on with it! Y yes, but why does she always have to be like this? What? Would you have preferred the tour guide boy tag along instead? Huh? Oh, um... Hmm. It would appear I have read your mind most accurately. That smile of us is downright scary. 
Well, let's move along then. You're not helpful as per usual. So the Plaza of Devotion it is. He really did die there. So everyone got up at the end of it and they were like, oh, he did. Looks like the police already finished their investigation. Did no one like pick up on smell or flies or anything like that? I think someone would be killed here. A place devoted to prayer. A body outline and flowers. Did someone leave them here in memory of the deceased? Hmm. And there's something different about the prayer flags today. As the high priest disciple acolyte Zealot was utterly devoted to his training. First the high priest and now his devoted disciple. Maya Fey will pay for this. As I keep trying to tell you, Maya has nothing to do with any of this. And you can prove this. How? What do you think I'm doing here? Gathering dirt and dust for the trial? You and your smart mouth. This is precisely why you and your loyally ilk are so reviled. Hey, Mr. Wright! Help me! Emma! It's that detective from your country again. Ah! It's the princess! You seem displeased that I'm here. Oh, no, no, no! Don't be silly! Mr. Wright, I'm, uh... I'm so sorry about what happened to Maya. It's not your fault, Emma. You were just doing your job. And if I had just done mine... Mr. Wright. But it's no use crying over spilled milk. Would you mind telling me what you know about the murder? It's do or die in court tomorrow, and I mean that literally. Gladly. I'll help in any way I can. Remember, I have my eyes on the both of you. So see to it that you commit no misdeeds. Of course not. Hm, you're talking to a professional here. Alright then, Emma, help me out. Let's talk about the incident. Let's see. How about starting with an overview of what happened? Sure. The victim is Perez Zilot. He was the high priest disciple. His body was discovered around noon today. Right after the rite wrapped up. So, during the high priest's murder trial... That's right. Apparently he had been here praying since the day before the rite even started. Talk about serious devotion. Yeah, I bet he lasted a few minutes. This is the picture of Mr. Zelot's body. Oh, so he was killed later on. Again, while Maya... Was in custody. What the hell are these guys doing in, like, the police here? That dagger on his upper back looks like it would have been particularly painful. Huh. Is that a tattoo on the back of his neck? It's... peach-shaped? Everyone started leaving when the prayer was finally done. But the victim remained bent over in prayer, and when they went over to check on him, they discovered he was dead, right? No way has everyone been walking past this stabbed-in-the-back guy. Repeatedly, after all. Without realising that dagger was there. Was the shawl maybe covering up the dagger? This could... I wish I'd go back and see like... Like just, just wind it back now and look at previous episodes. See if he had that. Oh. Kill in the Plaza of Devotion is a peach shaped tattoo on the nape of his deck. Crime photo for Zealot. Yes. The estimated time of death is May 9th. Sometime between the start of the rite and the discovery of the high priest's body. So really, everyone was walking past him repeatedly and he was dead. In other words, we believe the crime took place during the purification rite. And the murder weapon was the same ceremonial dagger that killed the high priest. The prosecution believes Maya came down the stairs after killing the high priest. And then stabbed Mrs. Zellot with the same dagger. Like, I'm like, really? Okay, maybe flies didn't say it. He obviously might have bled more into his body than out of his body. But, you know, due to positioning of body, maybe. But, wasn't there like any scavenging birds or anything like that? <laughs> I'm not even kidding, like something should have tipped everyone else off before they all stood up and then stabbed Mrs. Ellot with the same dagger. Circumstantial evidence does point to Maya, but what about the cause of death? He apparently died instantly from the dagger that was left thrust into his upper back. Yeah, that severed the spine, right? Here's the autopsy report. Zellot's autopsy report has been added to the court record. Yep, the cause of death was a spinal cord injury from being stabbed in the upper back by a bladed weapon. 
estimated time of death, you say? How can you know such a thing? I want to know. Well, Bob's head, out with it! Oh, so the princess of the spirit medium kingdom is interested in forensic science. Hmm, I have no interest in science, forensic or otherwise. Is science, eh? Nevertheless, I will someday be queen. As such, it would be wise to know what silly things the common folk believe in. There's nothing silly about it. I'll have you know, even Prosecutor Samadhi holds forensics in high regard. Does he? Hmm. Perhaps I should not underestimate the power of science. Still, I suppose it is nothing much compared to the divination seance. She really doesn't have an adorable bone in her body. Emma, I think she's actually interested. Would you mind explaining it to her? I guess I have to now. Okay. There are many ways to estimate the time of death, but the most well-known method uses the change in body temperature. Interesting. Rigor mortis, etc. too. Body temperature drops at a steady rate for the moment a person dies. That means we can tell how long someone's been dead by measuring the temperature. Hmm. I see, I see. That was quite enlightening. Bob's head, present your forehead now. What? Why? Hmm. You feel just a little over 95 degrees. It seems you are not dead yet. Of course I'm not. Hmm. <laughs> it was but a jest. After all, you're still the dead lawyer walking. I thought I'd see the humour in any of this, and why would you be taunting someone who's supposedly a dead man like on death row kind of thing at this point in time? This is not very befitting of royalty. Were there any witnesses? With so many people here at the plaza, you'd think somebody would have seen something. You'd think so, wouldn't you? But we haven't found a single witness. How's that even possible? Because everyone was bent over, utterly devoted to prayer, naturally. Alright, back shattering pose and nearly killed me. Still, you'd think someone would have noticed something? I thought so too, but... With the monk's scarf he had on, no one could see the dagger in his upper back. Plus, everyone was so absorbed in prayer, they didn't see or hear anything. I can't believe this. What you choose to believe is your choice, but the fact remains there were no witnesses. However, there is one piece of irrefutable evidence. The dagger. Sadly, yes. Ah. Right, the murder weapon next. Of course, being stabbed where he is, death would have been mostly instantaneous. I imagine he wouldn't have been able to say anything or maybe even made a noise. I think there are certain injuries, certain things you can do to kind of like stop that. I, I Yeah, that's just a nasty place to be stabbed to begin with. Could you tell me about the murder weapon? The killer used the Warbad Dagger, the legendary weapon of Lady Kira. It was discovered impaled in the victim's upper back. The accused fingerprints were found on the dagger, were they not? Y yes, they were. The Warbad Dagger has been added to the court record. With such irrefutable evidence, there is no questioning the accused's guilt. Not so fast. What about a motive? I had no reason to kill Acolyte Zealot. What do the police think about this matter? Okay, the motive. What's that? Well, I had no reason to kill Akali Zella. So you say. But let us now hear what the police think about the matter. The police believe Maya is the Lady Kiela figure who has been battling the rebels. And since Mr. Zellot was the disciple of the High Priest who turned out to be a rebel, he too was likely a rebel, and therefore met the same untimely demise as his teacher. Yes, that is how the police currently view this crime. There's no way Maya is that Lady Kira Vigilante! I agree on a personal level, but the police are just going with what today's trial concluded. Ah! I really blew it in court today. Well, what else could I really do at that point in time? He wanted to declare a guilty verdict on me anyway. And so we wrap up another episode with a couple of questions here. So they consider a defense culpability act, they consider me a guilty man, which would make me now on death row kind of thing and, and a guilty party that would be desperate to, like, either get away or anything. I have 
No one following me around, no one tracking me. I'm with the princess of their country, and no one's stopping me from being this close to someone I can easily take hostage, for example. Do they believe I'm guilty or not? Are they just using me for something? That's what it feels like to a weird certain extent. Because they're letting me roam so free with so many important people around me. And that's just baffling, wouldn't you say? Are they just using me to uncover something else? Am I bait for some bigger conspiracy? Or am I just really overthinking things? As we end yet another episode of Phoenix Wright, Spirit of Justice. Join me next time as we begin the investigation proper by, well, examining the scene, I imagine. See you then. Bye-bye.